Good morning, today I'm on Planet Zoo and we'll be making an enclosure for the water buffalo. I really like water buffaloes, I like things that are very cow-like. I really do generally do like like bovine animals in other words. And uh, yeah, for this one I'm going to do sort of like a lazy river kind of theme. So at the front we're going to have this big like pool area and then do like rockery around the sides. I want the guests to sort of feel like they can walk inside the enclosure. So we'll do like a, a bridge over the lazy river with then like a viewing centre kind of in the middle of the enclosure. And uh, I won't plant it up too much. I plan to make it very pool like. So we'll have like the fancy rocks around the outside. At the base will be concrete with like little vents where the water could be drained if they need it to be like cleaned out for etc. You know, that kind of reason. And uh, that's my sort of like thought plan for it. In the back, we'll like kind of like a small house where they can rest in, as well as an outdoor holding area. So if the keepers need to come in, do maintenance on the enclosure, clean it. In theory, in the real world, you just lock them up and they'd still have the chance to go outside, but obviously they won't be entering the main part of the enclosure. So it'd be like a backstage area, really. I'm gonna do like a fair bit of enrichment inside this enclosure. I always love watching like the animals in the game like interact with the different bits of enrichment that there are. And uh, yeah, I'm going to try and make it. Oh yeah, also as well, kind of idea behind it. I, I want a fair few trees, a lot of plants knocking around, and I'm going to use um, like a like a lot of grass as well in this closure. I want to kind of give it a slight meadow-like feel. So where I put loads of grasses, I'm going to put a few different bushes, a lot of different flowers, uh, and things like that, just to make it it brighten it up, look kind of pretty. Also, do like dirt paths, and where I've done the dirt paths, there won't be much plants growing in the way of it. So it looks like they've trampled that area a fair bit, getting to the different parts of Richmond, getting to the embankments where they go into the water, and also going into their shelter at night. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed the rest of this video, and I'll see you at the end.
Thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this build and it's given you some ideas of like things you can add to your park. My favourite part from this is definitely that lazy river with the water lilies knocking around. It adds like a vibe. I never got like an actual set recording of them messing around in the water. Like if you've seen the speed build, I notice that they're playing in the water, but I don't for the rest of it, like the time I'm trying to get shots of the enclosure and I was doing this for like nearly like 10 minutes or so and it didn't once go in the water when I'm recording. Eventually, uh, hopefully I get to see them again in the water but they weren't going into it. I know they can traverse into it because obviously I've seen them in it. But yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this build and that you like this enclosure. Let me know in the comments if there's anything you could like improve on it or what you'd improve on it. And as well, I've added this to the workshop. So hopefully by the time it goes out, you'll be able to see it there. And yeah, anyways, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.